was just out in the field. I got a pom pom. I found this. It's a freebie. I have to save this for the game uh, at the end of November for the uh, the Georgia State versus uh, Southern or the State not Southern. What do you think? Girl, boy, loses girl Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. A second thing that I will do is uh, give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, vendors, educators, employers, professionals, and anybody who is in the group leader. Uh, I will also cover topics and things that I'm passionate about. And then my latest thing is uh, doing more day in the life type vlogs. And if you want to know more about me, please be sure to hit me up on social media. I'm talking Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Facebook. And then you can check out my scholarly blogs on WordPress.com. And you can find these under Hello World 240 at WordPress.com. That's Hello World 240 at way to take a shower. Um, one cool thing about uh, working and going to school at a university is that I have lots of free t-shirts. I don't even need to go to uh, the bookstore to buy their expensive uh, athletic wear or their t-shirts wear because if you go to um, an event related to your university, you get free t-shirts and you get all kinds of free stuff. Um, not to mention, I have uh, a couple of uh, mugs, actually one mug, with uh, the Georgia State University logo on it for uh, giving a talk at an event when I first started. And then uh, I also have uh, a couple of wine glasses that have the Georgia State University logo on them, which is uh, promoting the Center for Leadership and Disability where I work. So that's really cool. But uh, the reason why I am going to this game today is because um, or I originally got an email about a um, student appreciation email for, or, or, uh, for $5 to get into the game today. And I had uh, attempted to invite everybody at work to uh, attend this football game. And no. Uh, these people um, mostly responded. It was just a lot of them said no because um, a lot of them have other plans and a lot of them have other things going on. And it's not just me because there are lots of people at work that we try to get things um, or get people to get together all the time. And a majority of the happy hours, whatever, they just get canceled. So like those happy hours and it wasn't it's not just me there are other people that have tried to uh, put on happy hours and uh, 
at least a majority of them, I'd say 90% get canceled because uh, a lot of us are busy with work and a lot of people are traveling for work and it's just major crunch time. So I just decided to cancel the tailgate and I decided to uh, stop at Quick Trip and uh, go to the game by myself. And no, I'm not sad about it because uh, I've decided that since there are gonna be other staff there, uh, it might be a chance for me to go out and meet some new people and also be sure to network. Uh, maybe see if I can find some other tailgates that uh, they're putting on for staff since it's um, an appreciation day. Uh, unfortunately, I missed the, uh, the deadline for it, the $5, but since I'm a student, I got a discount anyway. It was a little bit more, but at least I got in. So without further ado, I'm on my way to hop in the shower. I just got out of the shower and I feel great. And I got my game face on, not really but I do have this t-shirt on and I have these beads. And honestly, last night I was at Target and I had to run some errands and I was walking over to the area where you can get those good deals on things like uh, fall decorations or Halloween decorations. And they had these uh, cute little uh, decorations for things like uh, football parties or football games. And they had these crayons that you can put on your face. And I was looking for a blue one to put on my face today, but it was all the way in the back of all the green and purple and orange crayons. And I just decided what's the point, and I decided to just wear my, uh, my favorite Panther t-shirt today. And I decided to wear this and just show my school spirit and show my staff spirit at Georgia State and do what my uh, colleague uh, always does um, whenever he's in a good mood. He goes, brothers! So, feathers! Anyway, uh, what I wanted to do today is uh, talk about uh, something or feed into the last topic. So, yesterday I talked about uh, an experience that I faced eight years ago where I had a housewarming party and my uh, employers uh, through this supported employment program were just not very uh, partial to me. They left me out, they hurt my feelings, and uh, they didn't get me any gifts or anything. Well, what I wanted to do first is let you know that if you uh, go to the end of this video, you can find that video there, so check that out. And also be sure to check out my video, Why I Don't Have Any Skills. And what I wanted to do is uh, sort of take that content and uh, tell you why this video is called Big Girls Do Cry. Of course, there's an old song in the 50s called Big Girls Don't Cry. Well, that is such a misconception because uh, it is okay for big girls to cry. I mean, I'm a big girl. And I want to let those of you know who are big girls too, it's okay for you to cry too. And I want to explain why. So not only was I excluded or not only was, I, was my uh, housewarming party shunned, because uh, they didn't like me very much at this company because uh, I just didn't appear to, uh, appear to fit their mold uh, because I didn't fit in socially. <laughs> I just, I was a joke at that uh, company and I did things a little bit differently than other people do. I mean, other people say later that the reason why is because I was so sharp and I just had a lot of anger and then I was also doing a lot of growing at that time. But the people there just were not very trained to deal with individuals uh, with invisible situations or anybody with ADHD or Asperger's syndrome. They were more accustomed to physical disabilities even though the owner of the company had an adult autistic son and he had a, a more severe form of autism and everybody knew was more tolerable of him but when it came to anybody like me uh, they looked at us like we made excuses and so uh, those people often put me down and they often made me feel uh, 
like I was worthless there. None of them ever congratulated me. They all uh, thought I was broken and needed to be fixed or that I was, quote, not all there. And they also uh, would tell me things like, I don't think anybody will ever want to date you. I don't think this person will ever want to hear your story. And it was just constant. I don't think you're ever going to go anywhere in life. And, or uh, they would say other things to me like, I think you have a mental illness. You're not normal. You need to be locked up. And then when I would confront them, it was, I was just kidding. And so a lot of this time when they were really aggressive to me, what I would do is I would just sit and cry. And I cried about the housewarming party situation. And I cried whenever these people were mean. I mean, I didn't cry all the time. I mean, I learned how to uh, develop a tougher skin eventually. But I want to let you know that uh, it is okay to cry when you're at work because uh, that means that you're not going to retaliate. You're not going to turn around and drop the F-bomb on them. You're not going to make uh, uh, magnificent fools out of yourselves. And I know that a lot of you on here hate Temple Grandin, but here's something that you should know. So when she was about my age, uh, she was working in the cattle industry. And this was during the days that um, women weren't allowed on the feedlots and, or the stockyards. Yeah, because uh, they thought it would be too gross for us. And when she was out there, they did things to her, like they decorated her car or her truck with bull testicles. Um, and they did all kinds of uh, really gruesome things to her. And she just figured out how to cry. And it started when she was back in high school after she got into a fist fight and lost her riding privileges for two weeks. And I mean, I didn't even think about the anger to crying. To me, it just came naturally. I mean, I just, I cried naturally because I didn't know how else to deal with it. And I cried until I couldn't anymore. And then I learned how to control my emotions as well. Like, hey, I'm not going to let this affect me. But um, the reason why I put that out there again is you're not going to uh, punch somebody in the face. It means you're letting your anger out in a healthy way. And you're not stuffing your emotions at, in, you're letting it all out. And it's okay because uh, there were a couple of times where I did get fed up and I did retaliate. In fact, when I first wrote that stuff on Wrong Planet, there was uh, someone, one of my coworkers, uh, discovered what I wrote and I was mad about it and I said some things to her that uh, I regretted later on but that's because I was so hurt and embarrassed and I didn't appreciate her snooping around in my business because I was frustrated with the situation myself and she didn't help. And so I almost got fired for that. And then um, when uh, I was pulled into the office uh, and uh, my former boss yelled at me about that, and of course she yelled at me about the housewarming situation without saying she was sorry, then I cried. Then I cried, and I cried until I couldn't uh, anymore. So anyway, um, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, be sure to check me out on social media, Twitter, on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. You can find me on there. Also, be sure to check out my scholarly blogs at WordPress.com. I am now blogging for Future Horizons, which is Temple Grandin's publishing company. And you should check out some of those books. Um, I'm in the middle of reading the ABCs of um, the school setting for autistics, and it's just, it's really good. It's helping me understand how I think and how others think as well. Um, anyway, I'm going to be writing a review on that. Check that out. Also, be sure to check out the book on uh, sensory processing disorder. It is hilarious and creative. Uh, I'll leave links below in the description. Until next time, I'm Maya Sendermeyer, and I'm signing off. Bye. I can't wait to see what illusion you've come up with for us. One of those romantic boy meets girl, boy loses girl stories. It's better than that. Which is 
um, kind of cool. I don't feel like paying catch, but I want to uh, get a feel for uh, what it feels out here, or what it feels like. I'm sorry, but this is uh, absolutely epic. I love this. I feel like a little star out here. So I'm still walking. I love being out here on the field. Oh, cool, there's the bench. Here's the famous bench where uh, a state against uh, sit. Awesome. Okay. So here I am out here doing a vlog on the bench where the famous Panthers play. It's great. <laughs> 